Hello everyone and welcome back to another Thrift Start Thursday. It is a cold, snowy, windy day outside, but inside it is nice and cozy warm and the smell of cookies are in the air. Zoe came home from school today and she's like, I'm making cookies and I'm like, it's the perfect day for cookies. So. You may hear the stove in the background, but that's all right. I'm just going to keep on going. So I went to two thrift stores this week, and I didn't pick up a whole lot, but I did pick up some very unique items, so I'm very excited to share with you, so I hope you keep watching. So the first store I went to, I found two items, and that is it. But they are awesome, and they match, and I just love them so much. And they are two like votive holders that look like this. Oh, aren't they gorgeous? They were $3.99 each, which is a little spendy, but I do believe they are crystal and they are super like heavy. And I just absolutely love the like chunky base and then like the tulip shaped top. And I just think it is so pretty. And the etching on the side is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if it's gonna show up very well. I obviously fell in love with them. They're in both in perfect conditions. There's no chips or cracks or anything. So I just had to pick them up. And I used them the first night I brought them home. I put some tea lights in them and they look absolutely gorgeous at night. I just love them so much. So that was a really great find for myself and um, my obsession with cut glass lately. <laughs> I think it's a summer thing. I'm getting ready for like spring and summer and I really love clear glass in the summertime. I don't know why. I just, that's like my favorite thing with like clear glass candle holders and like flowers and I don't know. I just think it's just so pretty. So I'm getting myself ready for spring and summer <laughs> with those kind of purchases. So anyways, all right, so then the next thing I went to, I went to Goodwill, and it was the tag sale day, but I only found one thing that was a tag item, and it was this little grab bag with these little candles in them. So they're originally $2.99. I think it ended up being like 74 cents or something like that. So there's just two candles, and they're like this pale green, almost mint green color. <laughs> Not crazy about the color, but because they were so cheap, I decided to pick them up anyways. They have never been used before. And I really like the shape of this candle with like the chunky candle and then like the narrow base. Do you know what I mean? You can't find these very often. So I thought I would pick these up anyways. So, so because I've got a lot of candle holders that need candles in them. So when I can buy them cheap, that's always a good thing. <laughs> So the next item I picked up was originally from Kirkland's. It still has its sticker on it. And I picked it up for $2.99. It doesn't, I can't see what the original price was. But anyways, it is this little wood finial right here. It's very like Pottery Barn-esque, I think. Um, and I just love these kind of things because they're kind of fun just to set, you know, in different places. And they just kind of round out a display of things like maybe a picture of flowers this and like a little figurine or something or a little wire basket or something like that um, to just kind of add a little texture is what these do so um, the color is not great for me but a little DIY is all it needs and then it will fit into my house pretty good so I'm pretty excited about this I have a few other like finials but I don't have just this plain sort of shape one so I was very excited to find this I love these so that is awesome find. All right, so the next two items are something that I don't normally look for, and that is records. Um, for some reason, I wanted to go through the records this week, so I did. I didn't really find anything for myself, but I found two records that were made for children, and I thought they were absolutely adorable, so I had to pick them up. They are both like story records, like that they tell a story and, you know, have sound effects and music and that kind of thing. So the first one is made by Capitol Records and it is Bozo at the Circus. Look at that. Isn't that cute? So this one actually has a few different stories. It has the little engine that laughed, the ugly duckling, and Sparky's magic echo. And then on the inside, you can kind of like, they have all these little pictures. 
and they have numbers and then the kids can kind of like follow along with the story and yeah I don't know I'm interested to put it in the record player and see what it is actually what it sounds like but I just thought it was super cute and then look at the back isn't that adorable I'm really not into clowns but I have a daughter who's totally into clowns so I thought this was pretty cute and then the other one is about a squirrel it is from Walt Disney It's made by Disneyland Records and it is called Perry Harry I think that's how you say it but anyways look at that cute little squirrel dude oh I just love him he's so cute I just love squirrels I think they're the cutest little animal to like watch I think I could sit and watch squirrels play like all the time so anyways I just thought this was super cute on the back it has a whole bunch of like black and white pictures of squirrels and such um so yeah I think those are like yeah it's like him and his friends and stuff like that. But anyways, so this is also one of those like story records. So I'm interested to listen to this one as well. So I just thought those were really cute. I have no idea what I'll use them for, but I w thought it would be kind of fun as just to kind of display the albums or whatever. I may keep them for a while and then I may like try to sell them or something like that. I'm not really sure, but I just thought they were adorable and I wanted to save them from the thrift store. So, so this next item is something that I am super excited about. I've been looking for ever since I saw a video by um, Jillian at home and she did a, I think it was her winter home tour. If I remember correctly, we did a collaboration together and she had this little black cabinet that was like at the end of this hallway and it had cute little like milk glass creamers and stuff in it and I absolutely fell in love with that cabinet and I've been looking for a cabinet that I could paint and you know kind of reproduce it because I just loved it I thought it was the coolest thing ever so imagine my surprise when I was at the thrift store and found a cabinet like the perfect size that I was looking for already distressed and painted black and it was like absolutely perfect I found it for $10 and I'm just so excited so it, let me show you what it looks like it's a little gonna be a little difficult to show you but it looks like this it's got this cute little curved top which I love and then it has like that and it's got the little door with the two shelves inside and I love the finish on it it's already painted black already distressed and then the natural wood color is showing through oh my goodness this is perfect and then look at this it's got this cute little like wreath thing on top too I love it so I have no idea where I'm gonna put this <laughs> I have got to figure that out but I am absolutely in love with this little cabinet and oh I was so excited to find it so now I can be like Jillian and <laughs> and have my little little cabinet with my cute little pictures in it so I'm super excited about that so all right so now it is time to look at some photos that were sent in from my viewers to see what they found this week while they were out thrifting take a look to get things started we have this photograph by Diane she found a coffee tea set for $11 it's got a cute rooster rotif on it and it comes complete with the sugar bowl and the creamer she also found a salt and pepper shaker for two dollars in a fabulous shade of red and then behind that is a hummingbird light which she found for four dollars Deb found this adorable enamelware picture with a flower motif on it which is so cool I've never seen an enamelware picture with the flowers on it I think that is so cool Karen scored some white pieces this week the milk glass plate was 50 cents the scalloped McCoy bowl was 99 cents the federal mixing bowl was a dollar 99 the large milk glass pedestal bowl was three dollars and the smaller one was two dollars some very good pieces at some very good prices and then finally today Sandra found some great items as well the green frame she picked up the vintage cocktail shaker an old blue clock a silver butter knife and three small forks um, the bear figurine and the little dog figurine with the little sombrero 
Here's a better look at the set of bears. Aren't they just adorable? The little smile so cute. And then look at this little dog with the little sombrero. Oh my goodness. He, he is so adorable. And then here are a close-up of the silverware that she picked up. Very cool. I love tiny forks. I don't know what it is. And finally, look at what Sandra found. A cake decorating set. This thing looks like it's never been used, even though the box is a little um, in disrepair. But look how shiny it is. Oh, I am so excited for her. What a great find. All right, so once again, you guys found some great things this week. And thank you all for sending in your photos. I very much appreciate that. If you would like to submit a photo for next week's Thrift Store Thursday, check out the description box. Information on how to submit a photo is in the description box for you to read at your leisure. <laughs> All right, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe, of course, if you have not already. And I will see you again next week for another Thrift Store Thursday. And until then, happy thrifting, and we'll see you soon. Bye now.